Look at these beautiful tomatoes over here, Joan. Look at this. Oh, I know. That and the, uh, the sweet And you may have to treat me to some fried green tomatoes too before it's over with. Look at that. Today, Joan and I are at J. Moore Farms. That's J-A-E-M-O-R, J. Moore Farms. Uh, not too far from Cleveland. Uh, we hear there's tons of good fresh produce. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, may even find a fried pie and some ice cream, I've heard, up here. So let's go see what it looks like. So this is the J. Moore Farmers Market, and you can see it's quite extensive. It's a pretty good sized place, so they've got a little bit of everything up here. And again, it's spelled J-A-E-M-O-R, J. Moore. And uh, we're going to go up here and just see what kind of goodies are going to be up here, Joan. I think it's going to be worth the effort. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Look, all the plums are ready. Look at these blackberries. Are they gorgeous or what? Uh, this is a true farm. And I can't share, at least not now, what they grow here and what they farm in here locally. But you can see back in the back. You can see all the different places, but some of this is, a lot of this is local produce. What do you find here, Joan? Silver queen corn. Oh, that is our day. We'll have to get a couple of ears before we go. Three for 279. Three for 279. Bingo. And then you can look down here. We're going to probably, we were going to get something for lunch, but Joan, I'm thinking lunch might be ice cream and pie. <laughs> And look at the beautiful peaches. Georgia got whacked this year in the freeze. So I'm not sure as we visit the farm this year what we're gonna find in peaches. Look at these beautiful tomatoes over here, Joan. Look at this. Oh, I know. That and the, uh, the sweet potatoes. And you may have to treat me to some fried green tomatoes too before it's over with. Look at that. And as we say in the South, it's not Vidalia. It's Vidalia. It's Vidalia. 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 Now that's in South Georgia. Elderberry jelly. Elderberry crab apple corn cob jelly. And I talked about Vidalia. Vidalia onion. So there's your Vidalia onion jelly. Peach jams. Five pepper jelly. Oh my gosh, look at this. Every jelly known to mankind is here. Look at this. Soup bases. Look at this. More, oh, this is all your salsas over here. And if you're a chow chow fan, look at the chow chow apple relish. Oh my gosh. Oh, we still got more to see. So much more to see. What did you find? Are these dressings? Oh, we gotta get some of it. But yeah, there you go. Roasted garlic. There you go. Your cream Vidalia onion dressing. Vidalia. I know, and then I saw this over here. I thought this was interesting. I didn't even know that there was a milling company in Cleveland. We've been coming to Cleveland for years, and they've got a, it's called Seals Milling in Cleveland, Georgia. You can get corn, yellow corn mill, and look at here, you can get yellow grits, a, a staple of a true southern delicacy, right? Absolutely. Love my grits. Love my grits. But we're going to have to mosey back here, Joan. I don't know what this is. I think this is going to be ice cream and pie. Let's see what we can find back here. Yummy. Ice cream and pie. We are going to get some pie and some ice cream. Would you look at this? Now, that's all we're going to get. They have got... Oh my gosh, look at this. Apple, peach, German chocolate, fried pie. It's gonna be awesome. And then they got all kinds of soft ice cream too. It's gonna be yummy. So what's for lunch, Joni? Well, for me, it's gonna be their vanilla ice cream and an apple pie. And an apple pie, and I'm having peach. <laughs> look at these red tomatoes, Joan. Here we go. There's one. Oh, I see, I see. BLTs in our near future. Look at that. That one's gorgeous. Look at that. Look at these tomatoes. Two reds and two greens. 
Just the two? Okay. You're going to do me some uh, fried green tomatoes? Oh, yeah, we got to get a different bag for those. They're way different. No, they don't. They're both $1.99 a pound. There you go. That'll be good. Fried green tomatoes. And let's see. I'm looking for pretty and round. There you go. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. What have you got, Joan? Silver queen corn? I do. I have. Some sweet corn. Love it. Oh, I know it. Isn't it the best? If you've never had silver queen corn, it's incredible. Just incredible. Well, Joan and I are finishing up our last day in the beautiful North Georgia foothills. Oh, we've had a great trip this go round. And we enjoy sharing these RV travels with you along with the tips and the many products that we use. And of course, one of the products that we enjoy using so much is our Brooklyn bedding mattress. And it's not just us. We get comments on our YouTube channel and people send us emails of, why did we wait so long? Uh, this is the best night's sleep we've ever had in an RV. Or our RV mattress was terrible and you suggested getting a Brooklyn bedding mattress. Now that we have it, oh my goodness, we wish we'd have done it sooner. Well, I'll, I'll share with you, uh, that's been the exact same path that we followed as well. It is a great night's sleep. We enjoy them so very, very much. And one of the great things about the mattress is they have a size that fits virtually every RV that's out there. We'll have an upcoming video soon of showing some various different sizes of some of our friends and family who have acquired RV mattress from brooklynbeddingmattress.com and we're just amazed that every size always fits and they all say wow what a great night's sleep it's real easy to get one you just go out to the website select the mattress that you want the style that you want you have questions they have a chat facility that you can ask what is best for our type of sleep then the mattress comes directly to your doorstep in a few weeks. You bring the box inside, you lay it on the platform, take it out of the box, take it out of the plastic, and within minutes the mattress is at full size. Such a simple installation. But there's so much more than just the ease of ordering these mattresses in a simple installation. Each mattress comes with a 120 night sleep trial. They come with a 10 year warranty, free shipping, and they're made in Arizona. I would like to thank RVMattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring today's video. And it's very easy for you to get your Brooklyn Bedding mattress as well. Just go out to RVMattress.com slash I Love RV Life and to get 25% off your purchase, use the code I Love RV Life. So this is Allison's Honey. It's Tenacity River Winery and Meadery. We've never been here. Uh, so this is gonna be fun. All right, Joan, let's go inside and see what this is all about. The, the vineyard here is pretty. Let's, this is going to be different meads. I bet. And wines. I bet. The uh, tasting room is really, really pretty. Look at this. We're looking forward to this. And they got honeys all over the place. I'm looking so forward to the honeys and everything else that goes on. What a pretty, pretty, pretty little tasting room. This is going to be fun. Lots of fun. So what do we have? All right, so this is our Allison Family Reserve. This is Asian oak for a little over a year. We get smoky, inky vanilla notes with this one. It's, this one has the highest alcohol content, 15%. Wow. It's made with our sour wood honey. Sour wood is our premium honey. And you chill on your meat? We chill everything. Ah. Even that sun belt, the red, dry red, we chill that. It just tastes better. Yeah. Well, yeah. I prefer even a red one chilled. Some. I don't want it warm. I don't want it warm. Well, there's some I want warm. But yeah, but, uh, I want it like this. Room temperature. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, exactly. All right. The only thing I want warm is a bowl of spice wine. That should be served warm. That's yeah, junk. that's me. So I'm going to do. All right. First, you're going to take a sip, and then okay. you're going to put a dollop on a piece of bread or cracker. It's pretty. Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it smells wonderful. Oh yeah. So I compared this to a Chardonnay. It tastes nothing like a Chardonnay. It tastes like me, but it drinks like one. I smell so citrus cool. notes. Okay. Uh, aren't you glad you tried that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's got an interesting finish. Yeah. Again, it's got a, it's got citrus notes to it. That is interesting. The cotton is good. The cotton is good. So mm. all of our honey, well, four of our honey is all local, and four will be crop share in South Georgia. Mm -hmm. So the blackberry, the wildflower, the holly, mm -hmm. and the sour looks local. The mimosa, the um, holly, cotton. Mm, and is cotton actually from bees that have been around cotton growing? Yes, 
Yeah. Really? Yes, we have bees in South Georgia in the cotton fields, and so yes. That's I've never. You growing up in Georgia, I've never had cotton honey. Well, you're gonna have to after the right. sourwood. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do a little sourwood. So I do it with this, and then follow it with the mead. Mm -hmm. Is it gonna change the character? Well, it's you're gonna pick out the honey. You're gonna, you're gonna like, wow, I really taste the honey now. Makes it a little sweeter. Uh, what a treat! And I love honey. We buy honey like crazy. Honey's medicine. Honey is good for you. Honey it is medicine. Mm -hmm. We but just see. Do you put honey in your tea? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. My favorite is the mimosa, and my favorite, my two uh -huh. favorites is the mimosa and the wildflower. This one is my most favorite, and this one is my second one. But that is almost like cotton candy, you know, to me. I don't taste a lot of honey. I taste a lot of sugar. Yeah, I guess it's just something about the. I guess it's just something about the uh, cotton blend. Get some this was a great treat now one of the things that i want to show you here i'm going to walk over here to the edge all the wines that we had the wines were very different if you want to explore something that's different than what you would typically find in most of your vineyards around here um, their grapes are different and um, it's a lot of fun and the meads if you if you've never tried meads uh, made from honey you should give those they're really they're very artistic they, they do a great job but uh, i'll show you the vineyard here they've got a, a very large vineyard of very interesting grapes and uh, it's just a pretty pretty property they said the vines the are probably about six or seven years old pretty spot Lots of fun. Joan and I are going to continue our foothill adventures. So let's see what else we can find, Joni. Sounds good. Our next stop is the Tomato House. Now, the Tomato House is located about halfway between uh, the campground at Leisure Acres in Cleveland and Dahlonega, Georgia. And it's out on Highway 115. And we just love coming to this place. We come all the time. I just had to show this. Uh, the tomato house is, uh, we'll just call it a bit of uh, farmer's market eclectic. It's got everything and, uh, well, you'll just have to see it for yourself. Now it's just sitting about tomatoes and vegetables and all the other fun stuff here. It is trinket land for Joni. <laughs> Ooh, there's some pretty things of it. Oh my gosh. I call it yard clutter. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for porch clutter. Porch clutter. <laughs> Well, you got plenty of porch clutter here, baby girl. I sure do. Look at all this stuff. Dust collectors. Is it something about me? Home is where your honey is. That's exactly about That's me. That's it. That's me. Don't you think that goes on the back porch? Yeah, it's all about me. I know. <laughs> always is, though. It always is. <laughs> <laughs> Life is better on the farm. On the farm, but we don't have a farm. But it is better, isn't it? And here's the other thing. Look at all this fresh produce here. The prices are just incredibly reasonable. Look at all this stuff. Isn't this awesome? And then, you know, if you if you want the shelled beans, they've already got all the black-eyed peas and butter beans and all that type of stuff already shelled for you. Look at that. Great. But I'm going to show you. This is... I'm gonna, get, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put you in on one of the best kept secrets. Now, you know I love to come to the vineyards. I love to come to the vineyards up here. But, here's one of the best kept secrets. A lot of times you can come up here and you can find a lot of the local vineyards. And, okay, let me give you for instance. This is from Three Sisters. This is Fat Boy Red. This is one of our favorites here. We love this. And this is, this big bottle's $29. Uh, let's see, this is a great cuvee, if you want a sparkling, a 19 cuvee. Uh, that one's a little high, that one's 40 bucks. You have to kind of look and pick if you're gonna find something that you might want. Curahe, these are the folks up in Tacoa. We've been up there. See what they've got here. Here's the Curahay Merlot, uh, 22, bargain, I'll get that. Curahay's good. Uh, they've got a Pinot Grigio that's really good if you want a white. 16 bucks. 
So uh, we'll probably get some cura hay before we leave. Salsa, 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 salsa. Look at all this stuff and pickles. They pickle everything. You don't believe me? Let's see. We got hot baby deals. Yeah, we do. Sauerkraut, baby corn, zesty bread and butters. Not just any. How about a sweet habanero pickle? Yeah, baby. How about pickle garlic? <laughs> Everything is pickled. Ooh, look at the jams, Joni. Ooh, Christmas jam. Christmas jam? I wonder what makes Christmas jam Christmas. Peach pecan jam, that sounds good. Ooh, that sounds good. And then all your standards, your peaches and blueberries and all that stuff. I can't come here without getting hot sauce. And do they have hot sauce here? Oh my gosh, do they have hot sauce here? So I'm, I'm not in, I mean, look. I eat hot sauce. I mean, I eat, I eat this stuff up here like the Dave's Insanity stuff. You know, you eat this stuff and you have visions when you get through with it. I mean, it's just crazy, crazy, crazy hot. But I've been kind of going through here and picking the different sauces. So I'm into sweet heat now, like sweet habanero pepper. And then I've got bee sting sweet chili. That's not going to be very hot. And this one... And this one I think is going to be interesting, a honey hot sauce. So we've been doing honey all day long. So I think we're going to go with this for a while. But we got more to go. Then you get stuff like this. You know, you get this stuff here and it's just, it's not hot. It's just pain. I don't do that anymore. I used to. It's just, I actually want to taste my hot sauce. This is for the baby boomers. Just want to let you know that they still make new grape. They still make knee high, knee -high peach soda. Oh my gosh. Knee high grape soda. Knee high grape. I mean, this is like, oh, look at this. I haven't seen this in a hundred years. They've got grape it. And for those who are out of South Carolina, yes, they have sun drop. It gets better. Look, 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 look. Stewards cream soda and Stewards root beer. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, look at this. IBC. I've never had black cherry, but I've had IBC root beer on draft. Look at the It is amazing. What <laughs> relishes, pickles. Just all kinds of jams. Oh my word. You know, every kind of butter, apple butter, honey crisp apple butter. All kinds of sauces, marinades, and then oils, oils, oils. Look at this, just crazy kind of oils. Since this is right after the 4th of July, I'll close out today's video with uh, a bit of a patriotic theme, if I may. Uh, John and Peggy Morris, who are the owners of Leisure Acres Campground in Cleveland, Georgia, asked Joan and I to come up and do a live broadcast on their Facebook page of their Freedom Fest event. They've been doing this event for years and years. Uh, the video on their Facebook page, which I will leave a link below if you would like to see its entirety from beginning to end, uh, lasts four hours and 45 minutes. It's a long video, but it was a big event. Thousands, thousands of people came to this event. It was really, really quite amazing to come here. Now, as I'll show you here, we have a number of different groups that came today. Most of the music that was sung here was Christian themed music as part of this celebration. We had everything from single acts to we had two, I think, different uh, groups who came and these groups were amazing and uh, they uh, their music was fantastic their artistry was fantastic and the crowds got extremely extremely into the music and the day's events it was a lot of fun and then as the sun was starting to set we start the patriotic part of the celebration and uh, it was really quite moving um, they have various stories about the flag they had a 21 gun salute they honored all the branches of service it was really a, a moving experience 
and I will finish up today's video with just a small portion of the fireworks that went on. The fireworks was a very, very long, long uh, event of just, it was extraordinary. I mean, we were right there on the edge of the pond that is there in the uh, campground and wow was it an amazing presentation so uh happy fourth of july a little bit belated to everyone i hope you had a great day with friends and family as we celebrate uh, our independence in this nation and uh, enjoy the fireworks display and of course when i get to do stuff like this you bet i love rv life <laughs>